so hi welcome um sorry about the shadow i was trying to get the lighting right but whatever i think it's because i'm on this white thing i wanted to do something just a little bit different today i have been into creative journaling so i'm going to show you kind of two things that started it for me actually one thing that started it for me when i was in barcelona so I came into this cute store. It was right next to the hotel. I forgot the name of it. I know it was very popular, but I don't remember what it was. So I saw this journal and it reminded me of like those travel journals that you see like with the leather bound and whatever with this thing. And it was that same travel size. I was like, you know what? I've always wanted to do that. Let me buy this. So that was supposed to be my first journaling experience back in 2019. However, that was short lived. Um, so this is kind of what it looked like. It came with it came with two inserts. This one that was like a journal thing um, or journal lines, I should say, just writing lines. And then this one that was more like the grid part, the grid thing. Clearly, I never used. I started up just this past week trying to put something in here because I was like, I really do want to do this i think it's it's therapeutic but it's also something to kind of look back at um this was my trip this was 1999 or eight this was 1998 washington dc it's not my first trip but it's the first trip i kind of went to alone um so that's why i wanted to document it but as you can see i didn't know where to start so i started so i started watching some journaling youtubers traveling youtubers i forgot one in particular Abby C, I think is her name. I decided to do it on my iPad first. So I bought this brown leather journal um, from Etsy. If you're interested, I'll link the Etsy seller. So it looks like, it pretty much looks like this. Obviously this is not a leather one. Um, and so I was like, you know what? Let me try my hand at both. Why not, right? I have a digital version and then I'll have the physical version. And then I wanted to actually journal because I sell stickers and I kind of want them to put them somewhere. I, you know, not only do I do digital stickers, but now I'm doing physical stickers. This spread came out super cute. If you want to see it in full thing, because this is not what this is about, um, I'll put the Instagram post link below. Anywho, so because of that, I also had this i got this from anthropology years back i'm talking about 2015 maybe i don't know but it's a zipper it says master plan and i always loved it it did bring this bulky notebook that i always wanted to journal in but again i never did i never knew how and so i end what i ended up doing was using this as my ipad mini case as i've seen the girlies do with their ipads so I just have my iPad mini here. So I want to do kind of that journaling, but keep it all in here. And then I just kept some of my travel stuff in here. Um, and then here are the stickers that I currently have in my shop. So I have sweater weather. Then I have the journal stickers. And then I have book lovers. I already used one for the travel journal. So those are my personal stash. And then of course I have my other bigger stickers here, right? So my shop is not for journaling. From Notebook Therapy, I got me, oh, this is upside down. I got me my first journal. And it's like a moonlight collection. I forgot what the heck it is, but it's, isn't it apropos for this season? Because it's Halloween. 
and I'm, I love it. I don't even, I, I need to work on this and lay things out correctly because this is just too pretty to mess up to like, you know, just kind of do whatever spreads on it. I want it to be like really pretty and thoughtful and minimal, but vintage as you know, my style. Um, this just has, it says bullet journal by notebook therapy. And then it has the gold foil pages at the end. Then it, and in the back it has a little pocket. And what cute is that they sent, come on out. They sent a little charm in it. Oh, it's a clip. And it's an airplane. I don't know if you can see that, but it's an airplane. It's so cute. Quick disclaimer, my fingernails are not dirty. That is actual ink, like ink from my printer. Yeah, I haven't been able to get it out. So there's that. So that's going to be my new journal. I'm actually going to put it back in the box because it's so cute. And I'm going to show you at the end of it where I'm going to keep all of those journaling things. There's a word out there that I haven't been able to pronounce or I had to look up the definition even. But I'm going to post it right on the screen here. But that word, um, it's, it's all throughout this community. So I want to get more versed in you know, to the things that I'm saying. So I'm going to zoom you out just a little bit here. Um, sorry about the shadows. Again, this lighting is weird. Anyway, so this it's from Notebook Therapy. I also bought the Vintage Rose Collection. I love both vintage things and roses. And it's actually one of my favorite scents. Oh my God. And then a collection of different washi tapes that go along with the vintage rose theme. I don't know how to do this. I'm going to watch more girlies do their stuff because, again, I want the journal to be pretty and vintage and, like, just make my vintage dreams, you know? Then it has, then it came with a, this, and I think this is more. I already opened this, by the way, because I couldn't wait. These are more stickers, but I think, yeah, these are more stickers. Man, these are so gorgeous. I want to put them everywhere. So maybe what I'll do in the next video is come up with like a cover page for the journal using these. But I have so much more coming up, so I'm recording this whole now but i got some stuff coming from actual from timu so we'll see what those look like and then this is the last thing in the collection which is a collection of stamps which is so funny because i don't even have a stamp a uh, ink pad thing i don't have one yet um it's coming but i don't have one as of yet so these are just oh my god it's so stinking pretty look at that it's like a stamp I think my favorite is this little mirror. I can get it out. Look at the mirror. Oh my God, it's, it's delightful. It's just making all my vintage dreams come out. Next we have an Amazon haul. So from Amazon, I bought these. Since I'm gonna do a little travel journal, let's take it out the plastic. Since I'm gonna start with a travel journal, um, I thought, these would be cool. Um, they're just rubber stamps. And they are all travel motifs. So I thought that was perfect. I did get a distressed ink stamp um, pad. Um, that should be coming soon. So I am not going to put that back in there. Let's throw that crap out. Then I got a stack of paper ephemera ephemera i think is the way you pronounce that word so this is like ephemera um 
like a collection of things. But this is kind of like vintage paper. So you can use these, you can like rip them up. Uh, oh my God, this I like this. So it's just a bunch of paper that you can rip up and use to layer and collage your your journal. I don't exactly know how I'm going to store these, but this one's newspaper themed. This one's more, what's that thing called when they have this? Uh, I forget what the heck the name of it is, but it's like logs, like those logs, like they have this at Ellis Island for when the immigrants came in. So it's like a log type of thing. Um, this is newspaper. This is books. This is like letters and stuff like that. And I'm going to tell you actually where I fell in love with like stuff like this and vintage stuff. I have the actual. So this is this is really nice. I got the actual um, book here. But I'll show that at the end because I don't feel like getting up right now. Then this is just. Um, what is this? This is just notebook, but I got them in this size because I was thinking of since I'm going to be using this journal and my iPad, I can stick this guy. Does it fit? <gasps> no, it doesn't fit. It's too big. <laughs> doesn't fit I was buying it to fit in here so that I can have both an iPad and a regular journal but lo and behold it doesn't fit what I am gonna do is keep them for when I get a bigger there's a leather journal that I want um, that I have my eyes on so I keep them for them make sure that they fit in there because either that or it's I have to return that but I think I'm gonna keep it and then this is or should be the leather journal yeah this is the leather journal oh my god it comes in like this little bag now this is so cute what is this happy day thinking of you and wishing all of life's best today and always it's like a little bookmark so you can put it in your travel journal and then it just says best wishes which you can use this as part of your journaling thing and then it comes in this little pouch and oh my god this this is what i wanted this guy is going to replace this guy because this was more like fun and i never was keen on it i just wanted to try it but now that i have an actual journal and it's like leather I'm pretty sure it is faux leather but my gosh I like the way it feels I did not know it came with all these inserts I thought it was just the leather I thought it was just the yeah the leather but it came with a little pocket so I can put all my travel stickers in there let's go ahead and do that shall we this one does have a pocket which I am gonna keep because I do like that too I'm going to put that in there because I was trying to work that in. Let's, uh, let's do this. Okay. See, now I don't even want to keep this because, because like, why? This has so many. Gosh, even has this brown paper. It has the journal back here. Or maybe I maybe I can put this journal since I already started it in here. And it's not the same size. This is way bigger. Look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna just restart everything. I am going to try and keep this, but it's not the same size, so now I don't want to keep it. Yeah, I'm not keeping this. Nice try. Nice try. But this and this sticker and this sticker came from CalPAC. I think CalPAC puts it in there. They give you like a sticker sheet of like travel stickers and cutesy stickers. So I'm going to put my... 
stuff. This is why I liked it because I kept the Euro money from Barcelona. I kept some receipts. So I might put that in there. I'm not sure, but let's put our stickers in here. I kind of made these on my thermal printer. Let's take that out. Um, see, I already did this, but I could redo it. It's fine. I'm not sad. So I made this into um, little quotes. This one says travel far enough. You meet yourself. And then these are the different places I've gone that I want to document. And then this is, I don't remember what this is for. But I made those. Then I have single stickers. I have them in this little baggie. That's a but to be honest, now that I have that cute little set, I don't even like these anymore. These are way too colorful for me. So I'm like, nah. I am going to keep my San Francisco and these vintage looking ones. All of those. And that. And that. These can go. That can go. I want to keep these and then then I ended up getting this booklet it's from the happy planner but it's all travel related some of these are super colorful but maybe if I do like Jamaica um, I'll use some of that for tropical islands and things like that so I think this is super cute some of them have like a little gold foiling um, this one's like is it rose gold like a little it's it's super cute um, so it's a whole sticker book and it was like $7 on Amazon or less. I think it was like $6. Just had a lot of stickers. Pack your bags, get lost. And then I have a whole shipment from Timu coming up with more travel stickers. So these I'm going to go, I'm not going to use these. So I'm going to stick to these. All right, so now we just wait for the Timu haul and we'll end up doing that. In a bit, you know, for for me it's gonna be a few days. For you, it's a few seconds. So that might have been like two seconds. So I got some stuff from Amazon. So I got these blending tool that I see people make their pages or their edges look a little vintage in some spots. I want to get the coffee stencil, but I'll get that later because I spent a lot of money on this stuff. I have the four packs of Distress Ink. I know they have them in like a bigger pack, but I wanted to try them with like the smaller stamps that I have. So I got that. And then I got a vintage time, I mean what? Vintage date stamper thingy. So this is gonna be cute. It's a little vintage stamp thing. Boop, boop. Anyway. And then a, a set of washi tape. Um, again, this is all from Amazon. Okay, that's a cute little box. And here they are, they're like, oh my God, this one's so cool. I can do headers with that, kind of cut out the letters from it, and then I guess buy more. But it's so neutral. So my style, I, uh, these are my favorite. I cannot wait. Okay, anyway, I also got this Traveler's Notebook from the Traveler's Notebook Company. It's a sticker book, so I'm gonna put all of my stickers, I'm gonna stick them in here, and then put this inside my Traveler's Notebook. So it's just pretty much self-explanatory. You stick the stickers on here. And then put them in there so that you you know you can flip through it, have easy easy access to your stickers instead of like trying to find them through tons of books. And now comes the fun part. I got my first Timu order. First of all, the way they package this is hysterical to me. It's like all over the place. It's crazy looking. But let's see what this is. This whole order cost me like 60 bucks. Take that. So, so excited to rip through this. And I got something non-related to journal, but it's an acrylic box so I can keep all the journals in there. 
So let me just take all this stuff out. Clearly something fell out and I don't know what that was. So this is the acrylic stand. I'm not going to open it in this, but I'll pop in a picture of what this is supposed to look like. This is just gonna house my journals. Like once I finish a journal, this is obviously a stamp. It just has a K for my initial, which I thought was really cute. It feels a little flimsy, but I think it'll do the job of stamping. And I have um, uh, the oil, not the oil, the wax somewhere in this house. I used it for my Christmas gifts. Then we have a set of, these are what? Of course they're not in English, but I believe these are stickers. Yep, I believe that's what it is. Oh my God. And so these stickers like this, if I know they're specific to travel, I'm gonna put them in, like I said, this book. And all this packaging so oh my god this is coffee related this is absolutely gorgeous um i feel like i should be reading off the prices so let me get my computer behind me get my order so this was a dollar 59 and it looks like it's coffee related yeah it's all coffee related so if you want to do a coffee spread i think that's super cute and it's like two of each you can't really see them because of because they're clear but they're so cute guys if you want stationary stuff definitely go for timu because the prices are better than the amazon for the same things um now are they ethical and all of that not sure but we'll cross that bridge later then i got this bunch of little cards and this one was sticker paper scrapbook sticker paper no it's not sticker paper this is journaling paper oh I found it letter handbook creative material paper this was a dollar fifty nine and look they have for travelers how cute is that paper I mean come on that's cute so they have all these little papers. This was $2.59. Did I say that already? Yes. No, $1.59. $1.59. So $1.59 for that. And then we have these are stickers, if I'm not mistaken. And this is this was $4.89. Vintage journaling scrapbooking. And it's like a bunch of but they're stickers. But they're like little quotes and things that you can add to your book. I think I'm set when it comes to journaling things because this is just, don't look back, you're not going that way. I mean, oh my God, there's so many of them. Now I have to figure out a place to put all of this stuff. Um, I have a little box, but I don't know if the, all of this stuff is gonna fit. Then this is, First of all, you can reuse this little thing in your travel journal. Does it even fit? BRB. Okay, so this is my current travel journal and it fits perfectly. I just attach it with washi like the girlies do. Once I learn how to do all this. It has a cute little heart. And then in here is all of the stickers. And this one is 230 pieces of vintage journaling scrapbooking stickers and paper for $4.89. Oh my god, they got like little doilies. Are you freaking kidding me right now? And they're all clear. So they all kind of look like washi. Oh my gosh. This is just way too cute. Wow. But you see what I mean? The like is all over the place. So I want to put some of them in the travel sticker book. But like they have like little papers. 
the fun that is going to be had with these. It's all a bunch of scrapbooking paper at the bottom here. Are these stickers? No. Papers and this one that looks like a sticker. <laughs> My stationary heart is completely happy. And this is a little booklet of kind of the same thing. Um, they're not stickers, I don't think. Let's see what this. This one was 450, 366. I'm not sure if they are stickers or like little papers. We shall see. Yeah, they're like little papers, but they're clear almost. Let's rip one out. They're made on vellum paper. So they look like that. Okay. And it's like a million of it. They name everything sticker. They really do. Everything is aesthetic sticker. These are not stickers. But they name everything stickers on the website. I don't know why. Anyway. This is this is a stamp, but it's like ink spots or coffee spots. Cartoon transparent hand account. Yuzu stationary cartoon steel. It's a long name. This was a dollar seventy-eight. Just like little splatters and it's rubber stamps. I need a rubber stamp um, pad. So that's the thing that I that I need next because I have rubber stamps and I don't have anything to set them on. And then this that was a dollar seventy-eight by the way. And then this was 60 pack retro letter handbook creative. This was a dollar fifty-nine. And this is again. Oh, these are this is this is a sticker book. So no, that wasn't it. This is a sticker book, but it's a sticker book. You know what I'm saying? Like versus everything else that's single. I can actually keep this he, um, with my journaling things. And these are actual stickers. How pretty some of this is. Oh my god. Let's just say that nothing here that I bought was over five dollars. The closest was four ninety eight. Oh, this is the stick. This book was five dollars. Four ninety eight. Vintage letter stickers, but I got like a thirty percent discount for like my first Timu order or something like that. So look how pretty that is. Look at this book. <gasps> when I do like a reading thing, because I want to do a practical magic. Um. I want to do a practical magic spread, I think, and I want to use that. Oh my gosh, I love it. Um, this was in here, I showed you that already. And then the last thing is these, which this was a dollar, I don't even see it. This was a dollar 99. My thing is that I ordered something else, it's like little, it looks like little vintage seal stickers. I'll pop a picture up, but it got delivered to, like, you can um, stick them on the back of envelopes and things like that, but it got delivered to the neighbor's address, and I'm not sure if they're going to realize that it's me. So, it was only three fifty, but still. If I don't get it, then I'm, I might reorder it or ask Timo if they can ship it out for me. I don't know. But these are just, like, little vintage retro stickers. I must say the quality is not like my vinyl ones, so these are definitely for paper. Like you can't stick them to um, things and think they're waterproof because I don't think they are. But they're cute. Um, I think you are the sweetest thing. That's so pretty. Well, that was it. That was my huge journaling scrapbook. I would say starter pack, but this is a little too much to be starter. So, I hope that you enjoyed this with me. And I'll have to figure out on how to organize all this stuff. I am going to put this instead of, because I have this. Well, actually, it fits, I think. Let's see. I don't like my books to be too bulky, but that looks okay. I have to figure out how to put a fourth book in here because putting this third one was 
ridiculously annoying. Um, I want to put this in here somewhere. Maybe at the front. So I can do... Oh! Before I forget, I did buy the HB Sprocket um, photo printer. So I made this. This is New York City. So this spread is... I already messed it up. Yes, I know. This is supposed to say from Harlem. From Harlem to the world at some point. So I was going to stick this since this is Harlem. But I think I'm going to redo this sticker right here that says Harlem New York City and place the Harlem over top this picture but then I already put I already laid this down I don't know you know this was a trial this was me trying to figure out how to do this travel journal so but yeah this has been cute so far so this was on sale for $80 on Amazon um, it's the HP Sprocket I just put a little carabiner so I can like clip it to something if I'm going somewhere with this but that is it. I hope you enjoyed this haul and I hope to do like um, actual journal spreads with you guys when I get, I feel like more comfortable with it right now. I kind of don't know what I'm doing and and to me it kind of looks ugly but we'll see. Um, thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of me creative journaling, let me know in the comments below. Also by giving me a like, it'll let me know that you enjoy this and I can do more. So talk to you soon. Bye.